Happy Thursday. We're now being live streamed on Facebook. And if you just dialed in, you'd like to say hello. It's always nice to see everybody's smiley face and hear their smiling voice. Good morning, everyone. How are y'all doing? Excellent. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, there's a woman on the move. <laughs> morning, everyone. Jerry from Florida. Hey, Jerry. Uh, so today we're, we're going to talk a little bit more on the soft side. That was We got such great response last week from what we did. So continue it forward. So welcome, everyone. If you just dialed in, you'd like to say hello. We'd love to hear your smiling voice. <laughs> Hi from Dallas. See your smiling faces. So it was great. And we got about another minute or so before we get started. So happy Thursday. 11, 9 and counting. Yep. Figured it out. We got what, six weeks to Christmas. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Whew. Two weeks to Thanksgiving. Wow. No. Wow. So good morning, everyone. Welcome Let's to our Thursday morning business chat. And we'll get started in about another minute. So if you just dialed in, you'd like to say hello. Now's a good time to do that. Good morning. Hmm. Perfect. Good morning. How are good you, morning. Gregory? Doing really well. Thank you. Thank you for doing this call. Oh, we love it. <laughs> Happy Thursday. I started my day with this. It's awesome. Oh, you're on uh, mute, Gregory. Sorry, I did that. I didn't yeah, sometimes we do it. It's, it's, we'll talk about this in just a minute. The first page is awesome. It's like, we are really cool people. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Well, we're at the top of the hour, so I'm going to go ahead and mute everyone, and we'll get started on time. Thank you, Tim, for continuing to let people in. So I'm going to mute all. Wow. Mute all. Here we go. And good morning, everyone. Welcome to our Thursday morning <clears throat> business chat. And, uh, you know, last week we got such a great response when we were talking about the soft side of business. I think we hit a chord with everybody because, you know, we are in the relationship business. You know, we have fabulous products, wonderful company, but, you know, without the people, we've got nothing. And from my perspective and from my experience, it's all about developing long-term, personally rewarding relationships, or should I say mutually rewarding relationships? So it's a win-win between us and our customers, us and our, our downline, us and our upline, our cross-line cousins, as Helen likes to say, our corporate partners, you know, we're building the LifeWave community and the Live Younger community. So uh, <clears throat> so I know that we're very excited. On Monday, we we announced the launching of our book club, as we were been talking about. So next Monday, you know, uh, we're going to start on, on the first of the five, uh, you know, Power of Five from Network Marketers from John Maxwell. Some of you already have your book. Those of you that don't, I encourage you to buy. It's only $15 plus shipping. And for the next five weeks on our Monday evening call, we're going to be going over each of these five skills, okay? Starting with skill number one this coming Monday. So if you don't have the book, that's fine. You're going to learn a lot just by tuning in on Monday uh, Monday evening. But, you know, last week is uh, we had we hit a chord. Uh, we talked about the soft side of business because we are in the people business. Uh, you know, we need to learn some of our people skills. And, you know, not everybody communicates a lot not alike. You know, not everybody's needs, wants and desires are the same. So it's really important. We de develop genuine, deeper connections. Genuine. And so today 
one of the thing I, things I love to do the most in this business is mm. turn it over to Robin because <laughs> <laughs> she's a master trainer. She's trained trainers for decades in leadership and leadership development and communication and personality profiles. So, uh, and she's, she continues training me, you know, I, I am teachable. I learn slow, but I learn good. Uh, but I'm going to turn it over to Robin and, uh, and Robin, I think she's just going to continue forward and <laughs> shine some more light on the soft side of the business. Okay. Well, thank you, Gregory. And thank you everyone. So for those of you that weren't with us last week, we want to just start out and, and talk about what Gregory says, you know, this is a relationship business, how you hear this all the time. And we were blessed to work with a man named Taylor Hartman many years ago, and he has a system called the color code. There's many, many different personality profiles. And, oh, okay. I can bring that up whenever well, you want. Okay. Mm -hmm. Not quite yet. Okay. Um, <clears throat> but where we were last week is looking at the, you know, when you look at business and you look at life, we have hard skills and soft skills. And like I shared last week, when I used to stand up in front of the room with the flip chart and ask people, what are the qualities and characteristics of an ideal leader? We created this big, long list. So when you think about that, um, <clears throat> what are some of the things that you consider are the ideal skill, the skills of an ideal leader? And why don't you put them in the chat? Because then we can kind of talk about them, too. But, you know, in going, you know, I always have fun going through my notes from the past and in most personality profiles because our business is about relationships and actually it's not just our business it's all business and i was <laughs> reading some notes and i just want to read them to you because it was so fitting all life is about relationships mm. <laughs> the success success of any endeavor whether it be personal or professional inevitably comes down to how you relate with the individuals involved. And it all begins with getting to know yourself. Mm. And everybody knows that's the part I love the most about this business <laughs> is that part. But you got to get to know yourself first. And then what's the truth you're facing? And then get over yourself <laughs> and then get others. Well, I love the get over yourself because when being truly effective in relationships, it's about communicating to their style, not our style. <clears throat> and our tendency, if we haven't done the deeper work, the, done the introspective work to kind of get who we are, mm -hmm. our tendency is just to do what we want. So if you're used to being, you know, short, direct, brief, that's <laughs> the way you're going to communicate to others. And with certain styles, it's going to work. With other styles, it won't work. But the more aware you are of yourself and their styles, the easier it is to communicate to them versus what we want. So like, I remember when I was with Enlightened Leadership, we used to have a profile we'd send to people. How do you like to be acknowledged? Do you like flowers? Do you like public recognition, private? Do you like cards? Do you like ice cream? You know, what is it that you like? And then we would give people what they liked versus what our tendency to do, if you like, you know, getting flowers, guess what you're going to give to people. <laughs> and it's the same thing with communication. So this is where it's really powerful to do a little bit of the introspective work to get to know your style. Now, we're all a combination of every style. We all have some of everything, but we have a strength or a leaning towards one of the styles versus another. And the four styles are typically brought up into introverted and extroverted, people-oriented and goal-oriented. And so I'm not going to get into a lot of details with each one, but if if you're a people-oriented person and you're talking to a goal-oriented person and you get caught up in all the flowery things that happened in your life that day, they just want to know the bottom line. <laughs> Give me the facts, you know, and, and and take action. And so I wanted to share a little bit about how to communicate with the different styles because, and, and we're going to go into more and more of this. Gregory and I have been talking about, you know, asking Meredith if she'd incorporate this into the culture at LifeWave. We can certainly do it within our live younger culture, but, you know, the company she was at where, um, they actually used this, this guideline. And it was so 
helpful. Want me to and, bring this up for a minute? Yeah, sure. So Gregory's yeah. going to bring up the color code, and it's by Taylor Hartman. So, okay, uh, there we are. Are we? Are you guys yeah. seeing the color code? Mm -hmm. So if you look at the website, what's the website? Because I'd love everyone to have this website and take your own test, colorcode.com, and you can take a free test. And I invite everybody to do that. And down below, you know, it talks about which hue are you and just a real basic summary that reds, they need to look good. They want to be right. They want to be respected. They're strong leaders and they love challenges. <laughs> These are the goal oriented extroverts. Okay. They're always wanting to get the job done. Now there's always a, a strength side and another side <laughs> <laughs> and reds sometimes are so focused on getting the job done that um, the way Taylor used to talk about it is they may leave a trail of dead bodies. <laughs> you know, they're, they're so intent on getting where they want to go. That's more important. Okay, the blues are all about people. And they they um, they have integrity and need to be appreciated. Um, they build very strong relationships. So as you're listening to these things, be thinking about which hue, as they call it, really works in our business model. And they all do, by the way, but it's <laughs> learning how to communicate and adapt to who we're working with. Okay, so the yellows, the they, white. oh, the white. we're on whites. Okay. Oh, you might as well do yellow, it's on the screen. <laughs> yellows on the screen? Okay. Yeah. Yellows, um, the, the key word for yellows is fun. Sunshine they're, yellows. Sunshine. They're extroverted. They're looking for life and social connections. They're positive and spontaneous. And... Um, and there's, there's, like I said, both sides of each color, the, the strengths and the other side. And then the whites are about being accepted and, um, whoops, um, they're logical. The, the whites are really more of the introvert goal-oriented people. They, they treat people with kindness, but they want the details. They want peace. Mm -hmm. White is about peace. They don't want to stir things up. They'll stay in the back when they don't they don't want to initiate, you know, controversy or things like that. But as you can see, they're all important. They're all valuable. And we all have some of all of them. Mm -hmm. But when you take the test, you'll find out what your strongest one is. And I don't know if you want to guess about Gregory and I, <laughs> but um, you're welcome to do that if you want. And uh it's truly enlightening because once you're clear about yourself and what your tendencies are, then the op and then when you're meeting people and you can sometimes tell by the way they're dressed, um, by their hairstyle, by their, you know, if someone is very precise in how they put themselves together, or someone is kind of loose and whatever, it's not absolute. But you can get a sense of people, you know, before you even meet them on how they hold themselves, how they move through the world, how what kind of languaging do they use? Are they precise? Are they flowery? And this is something that is a skill to develop over time. And the better we are at understanding who someone is, the better we can communicate. Mm -hmm. So I want to just briefly talk about how you communicate with the different styles is if you're talking to a red, remember the reds are the extroverted goal oriented people, you want to be direct and articulate. You know, if you're writing an email to Meredith, for instance, you want to give it bullet points. Mm -hmm. When you're writing to reds, you want to give bullet points. You want to be, you know, you want to be logical, you want to use facts, you want to get to the point um, and, and be really direct. And they appreciate that. Different than the blues, because blues, you want to first make the connection. You want to be personable and develop that relationship first before you get into things. Blues can be very detail-oriented, but listen to understand them and be sincere. They have you know, a crap detector on insincerity <laughs> like no one else, and they can feel it <clears throat> and they know it. And, and just kind of be thinking about yourself. And one of the phrases I developed over the years is connect before you deliver with a blue you've got to connect with them before you deliver the points you're hey i've got something to talk to you about but real quick how's everything how you know how's your wife how's your family how's your dog hey real quick here's what i wanted to ask you 
where red, you can just go real quick. Here's what I wanted to ask you. And you could be really direct, but blues you what you want to yeah. be a little more subtle with that mm -hmm. one. And let they like everything to be just so. So let them know it's okay to make mistakes, mm -hmm. you know, but blues are relationship oriented first. Mm -hmm. And then there's the whites. Those are the goal oriented, but also they're introverted. So they do not like confrontation. So you don't want to visit with them in that direction. You want to make sure that they really feel heard and listen really carefully. Be kind to them. Remember, and give them time for feedback. You know, they don't have a high need to talk. They take in a lot of information. Sometimes the whites can be analysis paralysis because they want all the information before they move. Sometimes they can be stuck on that one. I think you'll find a lot of engineers and accountants are whites because they're very logical. They want to know the facts. You know, they want to get, you know, they've got to make sure that it, everything balances out. Yeah. And then yellows. Um, <laughs> they call it, like Gregory said, sunshine yellow. Yellow is kind of uh, the shiny object. Um, they <laughs> kind of people, they're, they're drawn to the social activities. They're drawn to the fun. Um, they're spontaneous. So the other side of spontaneous is what? You know, that lack of planning, okay? <laughs> Yellows will just take action. And they're very open in their communication. They're fine about making mistakes. Um, they they need, you know, what helps white yellows more is to do more planning and, and be more disciplined and consistent. Whereas the whites are very consistent and the blues can be very consistent. The reds are just going to take action. So um, let's open up the chat and see if you guys can guess Gregory and Robin. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone? Jennifer said you're both balanced in your communications, <laughs> even if you have. Uh, okay, so let me, Jennifer, that was really fascinating because when you look at Gregory's chart, <laughs> it's an extremely unusual chart because it is more balanced than any chart I've ever seen. <laughs> Now my perspective. That's why she married me. Now my perspective on Gregory is a little bit weighed a little bit differently. <laughs> you know, anyone else want to? Um, that was very insightful. Um, and if you know yourself, so oh, so Corolla, you think you might be a white? That may be very, very true. Robin, blue and yellow. Um, uh, when I first did this, that was from Michelle. My yellow was like off the charts. I mean, it was like in a place that most people never get. <laughs> and it's interesting because I've done these many times and I could be yellow blue or yellow red. I kind of call myself orange. And um, someone, hey. Anne has your, you've got your hand up, Anne. Go ahead. Well, I, I just wanted to say that I obviously I've done the color code and I've I've listened to Taylor Hartman and we we use it in the team because it's so powerful when you use that color code when you're working with people because once you know they're I mean you get to the point where you get to know by talking to people what color they are and you know how to approach them and talk to them based on that information and I do want to say that there's also a, another book that he wrote and uh, he talks about um, how a couple like you and Gregory, if you're opposite on that, on that spectrum of one being a really brilliant red and one being a really blue color, um, you know, the reds are not as strong in relationships as the blues are. And they can be, that can be one of the toughest uh, mm -hmm. couples <laughs> to really work with. I mean, you have to be able to work together to make that marriage work because that's a, a they're like they butt heads all the time, right? <laughs> so so it, it does take, you know, work on on that couple's part to do that. But I also want to share one of the stories that I'll never forget that Taylor shared. And he talked about if you had all four colors in a car and you were driving the car, who do you think would be driving the car? It would be right. the red. <laughs> They're in charge, right? Who's sitting next to the red? The blue, because the blue and the blue sitting there and telling the red, you're going too fast, taking care of everybody in the car, right? That's the blue. And then the back, you've got the uh, white who's like, I'm not going to say anything. I don't want to cause trouble. I don't want to get anybody upset. I don't want to distract, you know, to do anything. So I'm going to be quiet. And then there's the yellow in the back who's got his head out the window screaming, Yahoo! Go! <laughs> that I mean, that's so, and that was brilliant and so true because we, it's, 
we all have our roles mm -hmm. and the best <clears throat> teams make the people that are, you know, are, are filled with people that are different. So when you do take the test, thank you for this, Jennifer, you want to be completely honest. You don't want to give the answer. That's like what you think is the right answer. You want to be honest with yourself when you're making those responses, because then you'll get a better, much better, more accurate assessment. And as you become more and more aware and work more and more on yourself, a lot of people may not even know how to distinguish what you are because you do appear very balanced because you understand how to communicate. And there's a lot of very sophisticated copywriters that will write copy for all the different styles mm -hmm. intentionally. Mm -hmm. It's very pointed, it's very direct, and it's very intentional to address the different styles so everyone can receive the information. And so as you're, you know, just kind of have fun thinking about yourself, thinking about your family, the people that are closest to you. And what Anne said about red and blue, they are opposite. And opposites, if they're hyper aware and mature, can be very extraordinary relationships or it can be really, really challenging. <laughs> and we used to use this term called a bad red or bad blue. <laughs> you know, it's like when they're in their most difficult times, it's not pretty to see them together, believe me. But when people come from this place of, you know, being more self-aware, then you actually, you know, that distinction between stimulus and response, as humans, we have the power to choose. And it, when I was with Enlightened Leadership for many decades, we talked about, um, you know, in 100% of people, like 10% of people have a natural backward focus. They'll walk into a room and they'll look for what's wrong. Well, there's a place in life where that's really appealing. If you're a firefighter, you want to walk into a space and look at where is this not safe? Mm -hmm. So there are certain professions, like Gregory was saying, that attract certain kind of profiles you know, that makes total sense that the more aware you are, the more you have the power to choose. If you have a naturally backward focus, you want to come into a situation and live in the place of what is the best response in this situation, no matter what your wiring is. And so it's getting bigger than our wiring and making, and we have the power to choose. Okay, did you want to say yeah, something? Yeah, you know, one of the benefits of learning to distinguish different personality types, because, you know, there's a concept called mirroring where, you know, the old adage, the more you are like me, the more I will like you. So if you're talking to a red, you you know, as Robin said, you want to be, you know, pretty precise and, and clear and pointed in what you're doing. If you're talking to a yellow, you know, what are we going to do after work? You know, where should we go? What should we do? But in the meanwhile, you know, focusing with them. So it's really magic when you start reflecting back, you know, some of their mannerism and understanding kind of where on the color spectrum they are. And there's no good or bad colors. I mean, right. there's a, there's good and bad aspects of every color, but we all have some of all of them. But some of us have more of one than another. You know, and I'll just I don't know if Connie's on with this, but she wouldn't care if she was or not she she's happy that she's got a lot of red and we all recognize and she that shared that on the call last week but she's learned to temper that red because not all the people she's working with are reds <laughs> you know she's got a whole spectrum uh, of people in colors in her organization so we're wanting people to feel like you understand them. Mm -hmm. And you know, that famous quote I love to share all the time, the deepest need of the human soul is to be appreciated, acknowledged, affirmed, and understood. So when people feel gotten, you know, and reflecting back to them in a languaging style that fits their style, and they go, wow, they got me. And like Gregory said, people want to do business with people they know, like, and trust. Well, that is the way to build trust with people is to have them feel understood. Coach Clarissa, you made a nice post in here. Do you want to share just briefly? Because I know you work, you know, coaching, ex you know, high level business executives and teaching them some of the things we're talking about. Do you have anything you want to share this morning with us about this? Yes, hello, Robin and Gregory. Yeah, hello. since I'm a certified uh, DISC um, Maxwell leadership, so what I do, because like 
being aware of who you are, that is the first foundation of being aware who you are dealing with. And once we do that, 30% of the relationship with other people will improve. And that is fascinating and beautiful. Mm, Thank you. Beautiful. It's so true. It's so true. And <laughs> so you. this is like part of the, I'm going to hand the book. Because yeah. in John's book, when you look at the five things, you know, the power of five for network marketing, you know, it's, you know, the power of five. Every day I will grow because growth matters. Every day I will connect because connection matters. Every day I will think successfully because mindship matters. Every day I will lead because leadership matters. And every day I will add value because significant matters, mm -hmm. significant. So all five of those things, are they hard skills or soft skills, <laughs> you know? And so the soft part is the hard part and it does require attention and intention. And the first thing that Haps, needs to happen is this place of awareness. So I I invite each and every one of you to go to colorcode.com, do that free assessment, mm -hmm. and then we can talk more about that and know that starting on Monday, we're going to start with um, grow because growth <laughs> matters. And that's why we're doing this to support each and every one of you to enhance your skills so you can relate to people even better. Liz has a question and then we'll open up for, yeah, we're opening up for questions now. So Liz, you're on. Okay, several people have asked, where's the link for the book to be able to order it? It's in the newsletter. And I think somebody posted it in the chat earlier. And it's under johnmaxwell.com. Yeah, there you go. Maxwell. Yeah, you can just go to maxwellleadership.com, John Maxwell's book. <clears throat> um, Thank you, Liz. Yeah, because it's not on Amazon. Mm -hmm. So you have to go to John Maxwell's site and you'll find it. Yeah. Okay. And uh, Jerry, oh, oh, let's Anne. see, Anne, then Jerry, then Allie. Oops. So I just wanted to add to what you said about Connie, because she's she's not here. She is working behind the chair today. But something that Connie does very, very well is that, because she understands the color code very well, is that she um, identifies who on her team are, are various colors. And when she's talking to somebody and she wants, you know, that, that person she's talking to who may be a blue, um, that's, I mean, totally me, I'm blue and white. Um, and I've got, I've worked on more red. <laughs> so I do a lot more in that area and I love the fun part. So, but, but that has not been my real strength, but she uses the team and knows what colors they are and uses them to talk to those individuals that she wants them to talk with because mm -hmm then there's that connection that's made within the team. And that has helped her you know, to really, you know, grow the team. She knows Tom's colors. She knows, you know, my colors. She, know, she knows the team's colors. And knowing that has helped her with using the team in that, in that way. So it's been really beneficial for her. Yeah, thank you. And she has done a lot of work on herself. Yeah. Because, you know, reds can have a tendency to, you know, blow people away <laughs> because they're so potent and they're so direct and going for it. But when they work on themselves, then they understand how they can use their strength and blend and communicate with who they're talking to. So Jerry, you're next. Uh, hi, good morning, everybody. I Sorry to contradict uh, what you said, Robin, uh, but a lot of people, you know, money is an important thing. And it, I got mine on Amazon and it was a little less money. Just wanted to pass Good. that on. Oh, great! Excellent. Yeah. Well, I did. I I heard people said they couldn't find it on Amazon, so that's fabulous. Thank you. Thank you. Thank You're you. Welcome. Thank okay. you. No, I love being contradicted. I'm, I mean, <laughs> I I want oh, I what's I want what's I want what's best for everyone. So I'm not, you know, I'm totally open. Great, Ellie. Oh, when I was looking through the book on John Maxwell's site, I saw he has an app. I have that app on my phone. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. So like right now I'm doing a course of how successful people think there's gazillion courses up there and oh. every day you get to do the next lesson. And I highly recommend going to get it. 
Oh, nice. Great. Thank you. Get the John Maxwell app. Yeah, beautiful. Love it. Okay. We have Helen and then Carol Lee or Tim. I'm not sure. Robin, would you be so kind to repeat your favorite thing that you say? Oh, <laughs> from my favorite Covey quote? Yes, please. Uh -huh. The deepest need of the human yep. soul is to be appreciated. Wait a second. <laughs> okay. Almost there. Is to be appreciated. Acknowledged. Yeah. Affirmed. Yeah. And understood. And maybe down the road, we're going to do some some education on listening because that's the cornerstone of having people feel understood. And it's something Perfect. we all can do a better job at. And it's what really makes a huge difference in our business is, you know, asking the good questions and listening to understand. So thank you. Okay. Thank you, hon. Yeah. Carol Lee. Good morning. Um, I yeah. just, when Jerry was talking, I just wanted to make sure Jerry, that you got the power of five for network marketers because the power of five is on Amazon. I, I, did, I, get, did... I did get, yeah, I did get the right one. I know. Okay. And you know what? I did lit, look there uh, a while ago when we first, after the convention, it was not there. Mm. But okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Just wanted to make sure. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. He only has 80 books. You know? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, Gary, you're next. Want to unmute your line? There you there. go. Is that it? You mm -hmm. got it. Okay, I was going to say we did. We discovered the book years ago, and having the trauma from childhood that I had, there were tons of triggers. But what's so fun about it is that I used to think Reds were argumentative and didn't like me until I learned that they're just focused right. and direct and so it saved me so much energy you know to making it about me and, and making it about them but the fun thing we do is we invite people over like six to ten people and we have uh we make it an evening and have dinner and then after we clear the table we use that as our game instead of playing games we bring out the color code and do do the questionnaire and then everybody learns about themselves so they all go away with the whole new paradigm of the world and of themselves and what's so funny is there's always one or two people that are kicking and screaming into their color because they don't want to be a red or they don't want to be a white. <laughs> <laughs> but anyhow, it's an amazing tool and has changed my life. And, and we've shared it with probably a hundred others. Nice. So it's a really yeah. fun, way, fun way to do it. So thank, thank you. you. Thanks for sharing. And, and you said something really poignant, Gary, is that yes. you know, if, if uh, you know, a white or a blue is being spoken to by a red or directed it doesn't feel good you know and 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 it's very sensitive and so they think something's wrong when no it's just that person's style sometimes i deal with that over here and <laughs> honey would you like to say that in another way you know <laughs> so, cool, yeah, yeah really? it's, it's Every really really and have fun with it and that's mm -hmm. so great gary thank you for sharing uh you Jerry, I love it. It's so fun you're highlighting it. Yeah, great. <laughs> Jerry, did you have something else you wanted to share? Yeah, I just went back in. It's not there again. So I just, <laughs> it's, it's not there when she said that, but it is not there now. So. Okay. Yep. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, um, we are at the bottom of the hour and my invitation to everyone is to crank up your awareness of self first. And I love that. Get yourself, get the truth. Um, and then what was the other ones? Get over yourself and then get others. And it starts, it always starts with self. And, and this will support all of your relationships, all of them. And being able to be hyper aware and communicate in a style that lands for them. It may not be your natural style but it will develop and deepen your relationships because they'll feel understood. So thank you everyone for hanging in there with us on more of the soft part. And then Monday night, we begin our book club. <laughs> You're not required to have the book. I think you'll enjoy it if you get it because there's a lot of treasures in here. It's a great book. And and he, he partnered with a bunch of uh, very successful networkers to create what's in this book. And I think it can make a big difference in your life. And as John, Jim Rohn says, 
work twice as hard on yourself <laughs> as you do on your business because you are your business. Okay, everybody. Thanks. Bye-bye. Thanks, everybody. And thank you, Rob. Thank, thank you. you. Great, Great nugget. Bye, bye. 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 Thank you. Awesome. Awesome leaders. Awesome teachers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Great call. Great call. Thank you. <laughs> it was. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye. Wonderful. Thank you.